we are going to go through the first steps to enable our IT infrastructure with Rancher products. The goal is to deploy a managed Rancher service and use it to integrate existing and new Kubernetes clusters. This product is 100% hosted by OVH Cloud through a strategic partnership with SUSE. The most convenient way to deploy this managed Rancher service for now is to use the control panel, as this action was designed to be done in a minute. So that's how we are going to do it. First step, log in the control panel and inside the public cloud menu, let's use an already created project. If it's not already created and you are a new user, that's not an issue. You can do it quickly with a few clicks here on the create a new project button. Let's enter our project. We can see here all the subsections and we can find in the containers and orchestration subsection all the products and solution we're looking for. And of course, managed rancher service and managed Kubernetes service. So let's begin the deployment. One click on the section and here we can see that we can create a new managed rancher service. Let's click on it. First step, we are going to pick a name. And then we pick the plan. So we have the OVH Cloud Edition or the Standard Edition. Depending the features you want, you may pick either OVH Cloud Edition or the Standard Edition. Here we are going to go with the Standard one. You can pick the Rancher version too. So the most recent is obviously the recommended version. So let's pick it. And then that's it. We can already create the service. Let's click on it. After this step, the Rancher service will start its deployment process. As we can see it here, it's on the creating step. All the informations are not yet available it will be visible in just a moment. Our managed rancher service is now ready. Let's have a look to the available actions. So we have a couple of information about the name, the ID, of course, the version, the service plan we chose, standard, and of course, the URL you can, we can use to connect to the service. First, we generate a temporary access. I copy the password. I paste the password given in the control panel. And now I select a non-temporary password for the admin account. We click on continue. And now we are in the Ranger portal. Right now, zero clusters inside because we just deployed the service but that won't last long as we are going to import an existing cluster. As you can see, there are different ways to register clusters inside the Rancher portal. The first one is to register an existing cluster uh, from a different cloud provider, especially if you are going to build a multi-cloud strategy uh, for your applications. Or you can import a generic Kubernetes cluster build for example, on your own platform, on-premise or on bare metal cloud somewhere, or using a um, managed Kubernetes service from a VH cloud. And that's what we are going to do right now. So I import an existing generic Kubernetes cluster. And the only step will be to pick a name. So far, the cluster is pending inside Rancher. Meaning what? It means that we initiated the process of creating a new cluster inside Ran the Ranger portal. Now we have to apply a certain commands inside our Kubernetes cluster to finalize the import. We just have to 
copy the kubectl apply command and paste it inside our terminal. Now we are going to see different resources being created. With this resource created, Rancher will be able to communicate with the Kubernetes cluster and vice versa. Let's go back to the portal. We can see here that the cluster is still pending, but that won't last long. Now we are on the waiting stage. And after a couple of seconds, the cluster is now active. We can see here the different nodes inside our Kubernetes cluster. And as you can see, it only took us a couple of minutes to get a Rancher service working, being able to access the portal, import an existing Kubernetes cluster and start to work with it. It's quite simple. So now we have inside our OVH Cloud Managed Rancher service one imported Kubernetes cluster. But what if we want to create a new Kubernetes cluster from the Rancher service. It's quite simple. We just have to hit the Create button and then pick our provider. For us here, it will be OVH Cloud Manage Kubernetes Service. The first step will be to pick the name of the cluster. It will be our second one. And we need to add our account configuration. So we need OVH API credentials. To create them, it's pretty simple and doable on this web page. I already did it, so I just need to copy and paste my application key, application secret, and my consumer key. Once the API credentials are all copy and pasted, with the public cloud project ID added, we can go to the next step. We can pick the region for our Kubernetes cluster, Let's pick Strasbourg. We can pick the Kubernetes version. We will pick the latest available and the always update policy. Now we can pick the network. I want to stick with the public IPs to make it easier. And then the node pool configuration to choose how many nodes and what type do I want to add inside my Kubernetes cluster. I want to have one node pool. Here we are going to create node pool one with inside three nodes from the flavor B27 inside. Let's click on not add not pool. It's added. We can check that it matches what we wanted. And now we can just finish and create the cluster. This operation will take a couple of minutes. As we can see now, the status is provisioning and it will come really soon to active and we will be able to manage the cluster as we did with the imported one. The cluster 2 we just created is now active, and so everything went well. It took just a couple of minutes to do so, and it was quite easy. So let's take a minute to explore these freshly created clusters. Just click on Explore, and now we will have access to a cluster dashboard, which is one of the Rancher service features that is pretty amazing. So now we have a fully accessible dashboard with all the insights we need about our cluster. We have the capacity, the number of pods, the reserved and used CPU resources, and same thing for the memory. But we can have access to the different workloads running inside our cluster, our storage, service discovery, and such. So, for example, let's click on nodes to have more details about them. So we can have individually the resource used on each node, their uptime. We can see in which node pool they are configured, the version, IP, all the information we need. This information are pretty useful on a daily basis because we can access them quite easily and all of them are centralized inside the Rancher service. So we can have all of these detailed dashboards for every Kubernetes cluster we imported inside the Rancher service or deployed through the Rancher service. Of course, it's available for all of them. And we can see here we have the same dashboard for the cluster number one, which was the imported cluster. That's already the end of our video about importation and creation of Kubernetes cluster through the managed Rancher service.